Marmorino Palladino Stony Effect. First, apply Mayo Dead Quartz Primer. Apply the quartz primer, diluted with 30% water, to the surface with a roller, a brush, or a sprayer. The quartz primer is water-based and is the base coat for all of the interior and exterior Mayodead plaster finishes. The primer leaves the surface grainy, like a light sandpaper, so the plaster will stick better. This makes for a fast and easy application when spreading on the paste plaster. On a new dry wall, it's recommended to first use a PVA primer and then the quartz primer. On a wall that has already been painted with flat paint, use only the quartz primer. On a wall that has already been painted with any gloss paint, it's recommended that you sand the surface a little bit, clean off the dust, then apply an all-purpose primer, and finally apply the quartz primer. And on exterior brown coat, first wash the brown coat surface good, and then apply the quartz primer, which you've diluted with 50% water. Let the quartz primer dry for at least four hours. After the primer coat, we're going to apply the Marmorino Palladino White, which is both an interior and exterior plaster made from marble dust and lime. First, apply a thin coat over the surface, spreading the material evenly to cover the primer coat. Try to eliminate the lines created by the spatula as you go. Let the first coat dry for at least 12 hours. Now we're going to create a texture with the second coat. This coat will be thicker than the last. Spread the material evenly, maintaining the same thickness across the wall always working in one to two square yard sections as you go. Clean the excess material built on the spatula as you smooth out the plaster. Take a pit rubber roller and roll it across the still wet plaster to create small holes in the surface. Now go back in and smooth out the plaster here and there leaving patchy areas of texture. This can be as much or as little as you want. The more areas you leave textured now will be larger and rougher later. And by contrast, the more you smooth now, the smoother the wall will be in the end with spots of rough texture here and there. Again, this is entirely up to you and your style. Now let the textured plaster set between five and 10 minutes. Touch the texture with your hand. When you feel that it's about 80% dry, go back in with your spatula and start to gently smooth out everything, 
starting gently, progressively pressing harder as you go. Continue to smooth more as it dries. This will achieve a smoother surface while maintaining the texture. Let the surface set for five minutes. Continue to smooth more as it dries. Let the surface dry for at least 12 hours. Now we're ready for the Velatour glaze, which will not only add color, but also age to the wall. We can use a variety of different colors to stain the wall. The most important step is to dilute this first coat of the Velatour glaze with at least 400% water, about a four to one ratio of water to glaze, so that it's light, because this plaster breathes. Because this plaster breathes, you want this first coat of glaze to be absorbed. Using a sponge, you're going to wash the wall with a thin, light layer, letting the wall drink in the glaze and seal up the plaster so that you can work with a second, darker coat. We used a light brown yellow color on this first coat. Put a little bit of velatour on the sponge and wash the wall, pressing gently and being careful to clean up any glaze that drips from the sponge before it has a chance to be absorbed into the wall. You can work Velatour wet on wet or wet on dry, it doesn't matter. Now, after applying the brownish yellow Velatour layer, we can add a very light diluted green Velatour glaze to penetrate into the rougher areas giving accent to the wall. The green is going to give a rusty antique patina look. After the green layer, you can leave it as is if you like, or you can add a darker yellow-brown Velatour layer and continue to build up the darker colors. If you start with too dark of a color on the first coat, you'll stain the wall and it will become spotty. For a dark glaze finish, always start with the light coat first and then add the darker glaze as you want, building the darker stains as you go. Look how beautiful and natural the textured glaze looks, like desert rock. <laughs>